the leather tie saw its heyday in the 1970s and 1980s. These days, it's rare to find an individual who can successfully pull off wearing one. Most often, the wearer projects an image far removed from that which he imagines. The keyboard tie first made its appearance in the 1980s when keyboard players were featured prominently in popular bands. Keyboard ties now look as tired and worn out as those keyboard players from the 1980s. Believe it or not, there are some states in the southern part of the United States where the Texas Colonel necktie is acceptable formal wear, so that area gets a free pass. Wear it anywhere else, and you better sell chicken by the bucket and go by the name Sanders. Be aware of what fashion differences exist from one geographic region to the next, or you risk looking like a complete fool. Behold, the behemoth that was born in the 1970s. Despite being a massive five inches across or more, these ties didn't break the tie width to lapel width rule. They actually had lapels this big too. Whether or not that made the look better or worse is up to personal taste. Acceptable in the 1970s, leave this in the closet today unless you're attending a 70s theme party. A skinny tie worn without a jacket is perfectly acceptable. The disaster comes from wearing a skinny tie with a jacket with a much wider lapel. This combination was a fashion statement in the 1980s, but is a fashion disaster now. The current fashion demands that you match the width of your tie to the width of your lapel. Before the world silk production doubled over the last 30 years, silk ties were cost prohibitive for the average person to own. Back then, polyester ties were perfectly acceptable. Now that anyone can afford a silk tie, polyester ties are less common and look cheap compared to silk ties. The fish tie is probably the most famous, or infamous, novelty tie to come out of the 1980s. The fish tie line was released by Ralph Marlin in 1986. Since then, there have been many spin-offs, knock-offs, and even counterfeits. When the necktie t-shirt is worn at an occasion where t-shirts are acceptable, it is merely a funny shirt. But wear it with a jacket or vest, when an actual dress shirt and tie would be the norm, and you have an outfit that announces you are of the lowest class. Perhaps this t-shirt and a denim vest might be the height of formal wear at a trailer park wedding, but for this reason, wearing it in place of a real necktie will have people guessing you were raised in a trailer park. Clip-on ties are favorites among law enforcement, bouncers, and security guards. But unless you plan on getting in a physical altercation, stick with a real necktie. The knot of a necktie can say nearly as much about a man's personality as the necktie itself. Wearing a tie that you do not knot says your personality is bland and boring at best. Ah, the Christmas tie. Out of all the necktie fashion disasters, all the rest have come and gone for the most part. But the Christmas novelty tie keeps coming back year after year. For this reason, it gets my top spot for the worst necktie fashion disaster ever.